so it's spring and you decided that it's time to get some of your uh, small engines out here and get them ready for the uh, upcoming summer lawn and gardening season. Uh, problem is you can't get them started. So I'm going to give you a couple hints or tricks or things that I do to get them going. So first of all, uh, with the lawnmowers, uh, if you don't drain the gas out, um, the biggest thing is to use some sort of fuel stabilizer. And I use stable or stable, whatever you want to call it. Um, I run that year round. Uh, it seems to keep the gas fresher and less issues. So if it does sit in the lawnmowers over winter, the gas won't be bad. Otherwise, the gas will gum up. Um, also, I only use non-ethanol fuel, so there is no ethanol in it, which I think helps as well. So I'm usually running 91 octane. So that's the number one thing. So if you are doing that and you still can't get them started, first thing to check would be to make sure that it has fuel, because maybe you ran it down low, thinking that it was a good idea. It's so like this one here, you can look in, and there's fuel in there. Let me wiggle it a little bit. And you can see it move so it's got fuel and uh, on these lawnmowers which is nice they actually have a primer bulb and uh, this cap is such a joke to get on never wants to go on all right there we go so here's the thing about that it says you know directions on the lawnmower three times you're supposed to prime it if this thing was sitting all winter which it was you're gonna prime this thing a lot um, just keep priming it until it seems like it goes hard Otherwise, you're going to be doing a lot of pulling before you get it to pop off. So the biggest thing is, is if it has a primer bulb, you may need to prime it more than three times to get it to go because it could be dry. Um, I would do that before I would do anything with the spark plug or any type of carburetor adjustment. Prime it up real good. If you primed it a bunch and you can smell fuel or maybe there's even fuel coming out the exhaust, then it might be time to pull your spark plug and check it. See if the spark plug's wet. If it is, then you may have fouled it. Um, so first thing I would do is make sure you uh, prime it up well before you start pulling it. So on this tiller here there is no primer so what we have is a choke and then uh, you have your pull start here and then there's a throttle up here where the handle is. Um, so there is no primer so the way that it primes the fuel is as you're pulling it it will then there'll be some vacuum in the uh, engine that'll end up pulling fuel you could end up pulling it a lot before it's going to prime um, there's no electric uh, plug-in feature like on a snowblower where you can just crank it over to get that prime so in that case what i would do is before you get too carried away is use this which is a fogging oil and what I would do, and it's also made by Stabo, is take your spark plug out. So you'll need a spark plug socket or a deep well socket, I guess. You don't have to have a spark plug socket, but I have one. And the difference is there's like a little rubber piece in there to help from breaking it, I guess. So take your spark plug out, and then I would take some of this fogging oil, shake it up, and then just brace them down the cylinder. Now, this is usually designed for uh, fogging the cylinders before you put them away. You know, it says right on here for, for storing the engine. Um, but this will help it kick off and run. So if you don't have fuel, like I pulled the spark plug. I pulled this thing quite a bit this morning. I, there was no fuel. The spark plug wasn't wet. So uh, I sprayed some of this down there. And that stuff will, will burn. And it will really puff because it's burning oil. So it's going to... Uh, be pretty smoky but what it's doing is as the engine is spinning it's creating that vacuum and starting to pull fuel so then um, it ran a little bit on the fogging oil died I pulled it a second time and then it was running on gas so instead of pulling and pulling because you'll you'll pull it quite a few times before you get that prime it's kind of a, a trick or cheat to get that to uh, quickly prime without having to pull it a, a bunch of times and then one other thing that I don't recommend and I do have it, is starting fluid. Um, does the same thing as the fogging oil, however, it will wash that cylinder clean. And 
Okay, so my batteries died. So what I what I was saying was it'll wash the cylinder clean and it uh, creates engine wear. Um, the reason I have this is this can's actually uh, I want to say at least 20 years old. I got this in high school when I had snowmobiles and I was a less patient person who really didn't care what it did, did to the engine. Um, so fogging oil basically does the same thing, but it's a much safer way of starting it. Um, if you do get to the point where you run the fogging oil, you spray it down, you know, uh, it pops off, starts running, and then you have to pull it again, it starts, and then it quits. If you get to a point where it seems like it's only going to run with the fogging oil, then you got uh, probably a carburetor issue, and you're probably going to have to take your carburetor off. So if you didn't use this stuff before you put it away, chances are you got it gummed up. And then you're going to want to take your carburetor off and clean it. In most cases, you can just get by with cleaning it. It doesn't need a carb kit or anything, any new parts, unless you tear something taking it apart. Um, if the engine's older, yeah, then it may need a carb kit just because it's been used, used for a while. But otherwise, usually that fogging oil trick will get you what you need. So, and these are all... Uh, four cycle engines are not mixed they're not a two cycle a mixed gas two cycle engine so I would do probably a similar thing on a two cycle which I'll, I'll probably do a different video on some of the weed whacker and leaf blower that type of thing so here you go so if you got questions comments just leave them below and I can uh, get you get you hooked up um, and if, if you do get to a point where a carburetor doesn't do it, then you may have like some sort of catastrophic failure, but chances are that's usually not the case. I would say nine times out of the 10, it's a fuel related issue where it's not getting its fuel or, uh, or you got a carburetor issue that's nine times out of 10. So there you go.